Perhaps this situation sounds familiar to you. You're in the middle of building, you're doing your thing, you're trying to build something really cool. I mean, something really cool, guys, right? And you, you check your chest, your supply, and uh-oh, you're pretty much all out of wood. Aw, oh, man, what do you do? Well, probably you grab your axe and you start chopping down some trees. If this situation sounds like something you would do, well, then I am here to tell you something. You are a sucker, because <laughs> only suckers chop down trees manually. Come on. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, wait a minute, hold the phone, Etho. I'm pretty sure you don't have a tree farm either. W doesn't that make you a sucker? Well, I am here to tell you, you are absolutely incorrect. I have a tree farm. What, are you, what, you think I'm a sucker? I'm not a sucker. Please work, please work, please work. <laughs> now, yeah, I didn't just, I just didn't just build this and this is my first time testing it and make sure it works. No, no, I've, I've had a tree farm forever. I'm, I'm no, no sucker. So yeah, welcome back everybody to another episode of Hermitcraft. And as you probably know, yes, there are some cosmic events happening on the server. Uh, I don't know how far we're going to get with like building and stuff today. I'm going to try, but it's been challenging so far. I do have a couple goals that we need to achieve today. First, tab list. We got to reach day 1000 of No Wings Club. Must do that. That's That's been a goal for a long time. And we have to fulfill our debt to Dot Yam. These are, these are two very important things we need to do today. We're down to four stacks plus 11 for the pupil poppers. Once I'm done eating all these... <laughs> I've done my side of the contract, okay? I can take off this, this stupid spider helmet. All right, I'm pretty sure this is a gift from uh, Pearl, if I was to guess. We got an upside down llama with the sign shop at Tadlamico in Bodum, BTM, by the May. Bring the mayonnaise today. I don't know what BTM is. I should know, it's probably something very common everybody knows except for me. And now I feel stupid. <laughs> yep, yep. So we are all finished working on this bone meal room now, which means I need to venture outside this door <laughs> and do some actual exterior work here today. What? Etho doing exterior work? This can't be. I, I never said it was going to be good work, okay? Well, here we go again. <laughs> it's going to be a, an interesting, challenging day, by the way. Um, my plan, you know, a lot of you are probably wondering what's Etho going to do about this whole moon situation, right? Well, you know, if you're the quiet one in a group, guys, like there's the leaders, there's the jokers, there's the, the quiet ones in the back of the class, right? That's me. And if you're the quiet one in the back of the class and the teacher calls on somebody for an answer, she picks somebody up front, right? So I'm thinking i'm the quiet guy on the server right uh let's let the other hermits deal with the problem and i won't have to do anything <laughs> very good solution they'll, they'll come up with something they're all trying stuff something's gonna work right and if not i'm sure they'll join together as a group and they'll figure something out and everything will go back to normal here uh-huh yeah so the plan for today we're gonna do a bunch of little things around the base try and make it look more finished more detailed connect things together Starting with uh, what Iskiel did here. We're going to bring it out to the bone mill room up there. This needs to be filled in. I'll do that. Then I need to extend this and make a pathway that can come out here. Uh, I probably want to do a bit of terraforming here. Like actually go down a bit and make this come out and stick out. Not too bad. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Oh dear. I think you can replace Podzel with moss, right? Yeah. Okay, so here's how we're looking so far. We got this extended out. We can walk by no problem. We filled in the hill. Uh, we terraformed underneath this as well, so it doesn't look too bad if you see it from the outside here. Uh, the problem is, I think it's way too flat around here, right? It needs to be broken up a bit. It's too uniform. So maybe we'll try add like... A waterfall or something i'm thinking like a waterfall comes off the top of the hill there kind of trickles down the cliff and maybe runs across and falls down here All right and then we build a bridge across and that'll help break up the terrain a bit oh that's bad that's bad that's bad gonna make a mess oh no
Oh. oh man. Ran out of coffee cream, so I'm putting milk in my coffee. It's not nearly as good. Oh. If I was a Pokemon and you looked at my card, one of my abilities would be Copy Ninja. That's right. <laughs> I think actually in real life I have a pretty good ability to reverse engineer things. Um, I used to like do a lot of programming and I used to clone games. And I got really good at mimicking the physics in a game I was copying and the animation I would try to get perfect. And uh, yeah, it's, it's all about looking at the details. So we're trying to copy... Copy Ninja Iskel's path here. How did he do it? I think he put down the moss, then he mined out the path, he put he filled it in with coarse dirt, and then he splattered in regular dirt, and then on the edges he just did the, the clay and some speckles of of grass. Okay? So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do the same and we'll see how close we can get to it. Oh snappers! <laughs> Alright everybody, we hit day 1000! On the No Wings Club, it's official. We did a thousand days of no flying, no elytras on the server. And I'll never do it again. <laughs> That's how I felt during the whole thing. Yeah, exactly like that. Okay, so check it out. Where does Iskel's path end and where does mine begin? Huh? Huh? Can you tell? Well, you know because I showed you, but if you didn't know, you, you wouldn't be able to see it, I hope. Uh, anyways, we added in some brick along the the side here as like a safety thing so you don't fall off and just to give some color to the area. Uh, added some lights in here. Everything's like totally lit up at nighttime. I hid uh, sea lanterns in places. I don't know where they all are. There's one <laughs> under the moss carpet up here now, so it's much less dangerous at nighttime. Did a little bit more with this bridge. Tried to... Add some more character to it. We got our, our river running across. We got a waterfall falling down here. And like most waterfalls in real life, they are a lot deeper right where they land. Because they dig out the, the rock below. They erode it away. And then it gets a little bit shallower. This falls down to that lower section. Which isn't fully developed. We might get down there today. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Then it, it connects up to our room here, and it's a much smoother, much easier to get around. I think it's looking a lot better. Now, if we want to take this to the next level, though, we got to add more and more details. That's the trick. So probably some bushes, maybe some trees, uh, even like around the waterfall there. If we add some different types of stone and stuff, different uh, shapes to it, like stairs and slabs and stuff, it'll look a lot better as well. So we might try to do that here. Hmm. Mm hmm. All right. How we looking? How we looking? A little chunky over here. Very good. Very good. Custom tree. Custom tree. What will you be? No. Not again. <laughs> no. I just want to build. I just want to build. I've gotten into the habit of not sleeping, by the way, because there's some hermits on this server that are going around killing the other hermits that are sleeping. So it's it's best to uh, play it safe, you know. <laughs> but anyways, here's how we're looking so far, guys. I think we're pretty much done with this section now. So this is the nighttime look. We got the waterfall. I did put some stone some slabs, some stairs, all around the thing. Tried my best with it. It's not something I have a lot of experience with, to be honest. I don't do a lot of, like, uh, terraforming, landscaping. It's not really my specialty. I'm, I'm working a little outside my comfort zone today. <laughs> but I think it's it's good enough, right? Another batch? No, wait, you can get more than one batch on a, on a single night? I killed them already! <laughs> Alright, one sec. I'm, I'm gonna see. Nobody else is online right now. I, I can do it. Don't tell anybody I did it, though. Okay, this is our secret. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, this is pretty much all taken care of. I did build some custom trees here. I like this one a lot, like, from, uh, from this angle. I think it turned out really good. But when you go across the river here, the other angle, yeah, you know, it doesn't look quite as good. Looks a little wild. I think the trick to fixing that might be to... 
fill in some of those air spaces with more leaves. But then, I don't know, it might make this side look a lot worse, like if it gets more dense. It, it's hard to say. Anyways, yeah, I think that section we were working on is pretty good now, so let's move on here. Let's do a little bit around this section. Uh, starting off with, I think we're going to build a farm. I, I see this area here, and I kind of want to put something there. So I'm thinking bee farm, guys. Check this out. Yeah, so when a bee, like, tries to pollinate something, he goes on the azalea bushes like that, and he does, like, a little dance. He does these, this spin-around routine, which I really like. I thought we would try to make a farm that, like, almost is a show. Like, we take a bunch of bees, and we we get them swirling around. Um, how do I want to do this? I want to... Yeah, we'll grab the azaleas. Basically, we're going to arrange it in this pattern. So it'll be, like, a V shape. And I want the bees to, like, appear out of scene. They'll come down onto the azalea bushes, spin around, and then they'll leave the stage and, and go out. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, tell me something, everybody. Is that just me, or do you, do you guys feel this sometimes, too? Like, I want to build something. I'm not entirely sure it's going to turn out too well, right? Um, and the thing is, once you build it, once you modify that terrain... There's no putting the terrain back the way it was before, right? So if your thing you build is ugly and the terrain <laughs> is gone, you can't fix it after, like if, if you if you think it's a mistake. I'm kind of in one of those situations right now, but I'm going to go ahead. We'll, we'll try it out. Um, let's see how this turns out. Uh, yeah, it looks a little off to me. I don't know. Too much brown. We got to change this to something else. Yeah, it works. Okay, we got our azaleas, we got our sandstone, we got our beehives. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> I have to place the beehives, trap the bees before they escape. There's the dispenser up there with our, our shears in. If I place this... <gasps> yo! 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 Yeah. Okay, that didn't work. Wait, maybe they'll go back. They're not going to go back. No, okay. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. I just gotta be faster. Like, that would have worked if I was fast, right? Okay, so. Oh, try again. Why did my azaleas go off the hot part? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. We, we got mo some of them in there. Uh-huh. Oh, it's because I did that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that one we did perfect. Coming soon to a theater near you, Etho is proud to present to you, Bees. Not the bees! Yes, Bees. The greatest show in theaters ever since people stopped making good movies. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready for the bees? We flip the switch and it releases the bees. Not the bees! Yes, the bees. Come on, come on, come on. Do the dance, do the dance, yes! <laughs> oh, look at him spin! Oh boy. Okay, okay. So I guess if there's more than one at a time, they don't spin. This guy, I think he wants to get out. And I think this one might not have any bees in. Okay. It, it's a start, okay? It's a start, guys. Oh yeah, as soon as that one left, that one starts spinning. Okay. And then they kind of retreat upward to the beehive up there. And then, like, if we pull the piston, it makes a sea, a sea lantern come down and it blocks the hive so they can't get out. Oh, here they come. Okay, so we're definitely not at full population right now, so I just removed the glass and made a little barricade here so they can't get out. And I'm just going to try to get the, the population up higher. And then I'll put the glass back. Oh, snap. Okay, so the yellow on this thing is, like, really sticking out. Like, sticking out like a sore thumb here. Like, even from a long, long ways away, you see it. Uh, the bees are behaving much better now. I replaced the azalea leaves here with... Or the flowering ones with the regular ones. And now they're not trying to escape constantly, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I think we have to get rid of the gold and maybe the honey, the honey here. And use something a little bit less uh, crazy. Like either sandstone or I might just use oak. Yeah, stripped oak is probably fine too. Not as exciting. Cool, cool. Alright, well I think we're pretty much done with this project now. So I got beehives there instead of honey, and oak instead of the gold. And it's pretty much doing what I want it to do. They come down, they do their spin, their little dance, and then they, they leave the stage and take off. 
Uh, once the bees start getting staggered, uh, this will happen more often, I think. Uh, because I release them all at once, they're, they always like leave at the same time as each other. Oh yeah, and you see the honey falls down, and then it just got picked up from a hopper minecart below, and then it ends up uh, in this chest right here. Now, I don't think this is a perfectly efficient farm, I gotta say. <laughs> I, uh, I kind of rushed it, okay? I didn't really pay attention to it, but this is how it works, in case you're curious. The beehives all follow the same pattern here. You got the beehive, then you got two observers going to the left, this way. And then uh, one goes up, one goes to the right, to the dispenser full of the shears. That's pointing down at the beehive. It shears the, the honeycomb, and then it falls down... Uh, the tube above the azalea bushes for all five of them here and then we also have a another branch off going down here so that when it does a harvest it powers this redstone line down here that powers the power rails that moves the hopper minecart so it goes underneath the azalea bushes and picks up uh, whatever's over top of them and drops it into the hopper here which goes to the chests and that is all there is to it uh-huh now, I did definitely struggle a lot with this, by the way. <laughs> Remember, the, the hill used to come out to over here, by the way. Um, and now it's it's all the way back there. So I had to mine out a huge chunk of the, the hill and shape it. And instead of it bulging out, I made it recess. And I think it kind of works, right? Kind of works. Now, I did create a new problem with that, though. One of the ways we get up to our base is right over here. It was, like, in the hill. And now the hill's on. <laughs> so I might need to connect something uh, up to that water uh, channel to get up here. Okay, I think we're going to take a little break from the building, though. There's something we got to go check out over here. <laughs> I'm in debt to a few people. Uh, it's a common theme. I actually really like the slow falling. Like, I've gotten used to it now. We got jump boost and slow falling, and it's actually a pretty awesome combo. Uh, I'm not using the elytras because apparently it, like, really messes with them, though. So, <laughs> even though I'm done No Wings Club, I'm still not going to be wearing elytras. Uh, yeah, I think B-Dubs left the bill here. Yeah, I asked him, send me a bill for the, the Pretty Stone farm, the sugarcane farm. Repair parts and invoice. So, let's see. Oh, he left me extra observers if uh, they get blown up. Okay. What's the cost? What's the cost here? Dear Ladders, <laughs> thank you for using... B-Dub's perfect redstone service. Here are some replacement observers for when the machine breaks down. Normally, payment for your perfect sugarcane farm would be five stacks of diamonds. Five stacks of diamonds, I guess. Yeah, it's, a, it's pretty stone. It's, it's beautiful. But in lieu of payment, we humbly ask and demand that you use these Big Eye coupons and focus your shopping needs in the Big Eye district. Let us know if there is anything you need, and we would be happy to provide it. Love, B-Dubs. 25% off. Okay. We're going shopping. Oh, snap. Okay, guys. You, you remember my dream? My, my wonderful dream of all the shops fighting over me, that I'd be the number one customer on the server? Well, it's kind of coming true, it seems. Check this out. Check out what B-Dubs has done here. <laughs> I got my very own Etho sign, my Etho balloon over at the Big Eye Cruise. Uh, shopping district here man i feel welcomed i feel appreciated and i feel like this is our only shopping district from now on this is the place for us okay oh my goodness let's go check this out do you think that's like an etho specific shop or do you think it's just like come to the shopping district etho let's find out it's uh these two. Oh, it's a tnt shop mr booms that's a very etho like shop okay i like it what do we got here? One diamond for 16 TNT. That's a steal. Honestly. And I, I'm I'm not a sucker, guys, right? I got a tree farm, and I got to feed that thing TNT all the time. So this is going to be our very first purchase. Uh-huh. Now, I don't have a lot of money, unfortunately. Uh, you know, that Iskel guy. He hands me the paycheck, and I look at him, and I'm like, Iskel, it's not enough. You need to make more money. It's one of the things we fight about all the time, actually. And... He just doesn't do it. He doesn't do it. Like, I look at I look at Tango. He's giving B-dubs all kinds of money. Yeah. Why, why doesn't Iskiel give me money? You know? Don't I deserve it? I need to give him 11. 5. That's 11. Plus 25% discount. We got to give him a coupon. One of the coupons. I think we get at least one back. Two back, right? 
Math. Hard. Okay. Good. And we got Boat City to visit next. It says, welcome to Boat City. One shulker box full of boats will only cost you five diamonds and you get to keep the shulker box. Keep an eye out for the rare Acacia boat, which serves as a 25% off coupon for all big eye shops. Push the button, by the way. Payment here. Okay, so we, we put the five diamonds in. And then we get the Acacia boat first try. <laughs> I think it's random. Oh, no, Acacia boat. Okay. Do, do we go again? I, I owe B-dubs big here, so I'm going to spend. I'm going to spend many diamonds. Let's go for two more. Okay, that's uh, no acacia there. No acacia there. Okay, we're going to go, just so the math is easier, I'm going to go another five, and then we'll put a coupon in. Right? We get our 25% off. And I get five back. <laughs> is that how it works? Did I understand that right? And we got one more poll. Okay. No acacia boat. Okay, here we go. Ladder City is up next. Let's just double check. Nothing inside just yet, but I think this is where he's got... Yeah, this is the stock over here. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, I don't I don't remember what it was the other day. I think it was during last life. I was talking to B-dubs. Uh, we were climb, climbing up some ladder or something. And I was like, I don't know. My, my nickname isn't ladders for nothing or something like that. And B-dubs was thought I was just pulling that out of nothing, right? He didn't know ladders was actually my nickname. And he didn't believe me, right? And then I think later he saw the comments like, no, that's actually one of Etho's nicknames. He wasn't pulling your chain or anything. So now B-dubs is calling me ladders all the time. <laughs> what am I going to use these for? I don't know. But I'm buying them. I'm buying them, guys. They don't call me ladders for nothing, right? Oh, my goodness. I need more shopping bags, B-dubs. <laughs> He's giving these away, too. They're so cheap. Three diamonds for 16 bookshelves. So I think we can get a full stack. For nine plus a coupon, right? Throw a coupon in there. Ooh, okay, this is a good one because uh, Iskel actually uses a lot of tough. I think he mines it, so I'm gonna buy him some in case he needs it. <laughs> uh, how much is that? That's hard to calculate. One diamond for thirty-two, and then coupon. Get three back. Yes. Oh man, there's actually a lot of shops here. I, I didn't realize that. I thought these were all for show, but no, this is an actual iron shop here. They got all our needs covered. Three diamonds for 32. Okay, that was fun. I, I quenched my shopping addiction for another day. We will be back though. All right, everybody. Well, I think it's that time we wrap up our episode for today, but there is one thing we still need to do before we finish things off. <laughs> Now, secretly, I've been tr I've been kind of waiting around for Doc to come online. This is usually the time he does if he's playing for the day, but unfortunately, not the day he's he's joining. Uh, it seems uh, I wanted to give him the honor of uh, watching me finish the final of the pupil poppers and then kill me, but I guess we'll just have to do it together here under the moonlight. Watch me, Doc. Watch me finish him off. The end of the pupil poppers. The end of the contract. The end of the suffering. Oh, last one. 1,000 spider eyes are officially eaten. The contract is paid off. We just need to kill ourselves. And what better place to do it than right here? The deadliest place in the base. All right, now I gotta fix that. Um, here's the guy. These are the ones right here. <laughs> no more spider helmets. It's gone. Okay. Now I gotta go clean up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Have a good day. Bye bye.